everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Hob. It's a... Uh, okay, I will admit I don't actually know too much about this game. Uh, I know it's made by the people that made Torchlight, and they make fantastic games, which is actually why I don't know much about this. Because anytime there's a cool game coming out, I actually want to know nothing about it, so when I go into it, it's super fresh and I have no expectations. But I heard that it's kind of like a Metroidvania slash, like, Zelda-like? We'll see. Uh, but, you know, power-ups to unlock new routes through the world, that kind of thing. I hope. Uh, one way or another, it's already gorgeous. So let's get started. Uh, I... Is there anything I can do here? Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh. Sebastian. So we're just in this, like, weird tomb, and a robot's like, Yo, wake up, bye. It just checks out. It, the only thing I really know about this game is the fact, if, is the fact that it's really nice looking. Um, I love, I love this art style already. Oh, we can jump. We can roll. Uh, we've got berry bushes. Music looks really good. The, this is actually one of the very few games that I've played this year that right out of the box has had fairly reasonable audio levels. It'll probably get louder, and I'll have to adjust, but I'm so tired of picking up games that are like, blast your ears out immediately with their intro music. What's this thing? It's gross looking. Do I like mash X? Probably not. No. Okay, so that's going to be something that we open this up. So what company made this? This is made by Runic, uh, Runic Games. If you guys have not heard of them, they're a bunch of uh, ex-Diablo developers, from what I remember, at least the main guys are. Uh, and they went off to make Runic and uh, specifically made Torchlight 1 and 2, which were fantastic games. I haven't done series on either of them. I kind of started Torchlight 1, but I never... Never really got around to it because it was kind of a late night, uh, low viewership thing and, you know, I just had low motivation. I think I also played a wizard and I didn't like the wizard class that much. Uh, and so I kind of, like, checked out on that one. And then Torchlight 2 I feel weird about playing without friends. So someday on that one. But for now, this is single player and gorgeous. So this gives us a checkpoint and maybe other things. Yeah, so that this is just our, our checkpoint for the game. Um... But so, this is actually kind of a cool year for me, because uh, not only is... Uh, do I... Okay, there we go. Uh, not only do I have this game to play, but I mentioned mentioned Battle Chasers uh, a little bit uh, critically with the, the loud music, but like, absolutely wonderful game as well. Kind of similar, uh, very aesthetically pleasing games. Ah. I see this is my... J Ow! Okay, I only have 3 HP for this. I thought that was like a loading bar. Um, but so the reason why this is really cool for me... Can I have a sword? Oh, I shouldn't be there. I'm curious if you would, like, deck me. Oh, that's something we open up later. Uh, but so I'm a huge fan of Vigil, which is now Airship Syndicate, I think, or Airship Entertainment. It's one or the other, the Airship people that are making Battle Chasers and made Darksiders. And I'm a huge fan of... of of uh, Relic, uh, because both both of these companies are companies that I originally like really looked up to, and and back when I had uh, aspirations of being a game developer, uh, these were the two studios that I actually wanted to work for. Uh, I assume I need a ground pound button for this. Um, and so like my two favorite, uh, two of my favorite developers, the people that I I desperately wanted to work for when. I, uh, you know, <laughs> I was uh, looking into being employed anywhere. Uh, have both are both putting out games within a week of each other, and that's like super Christmas for me. Uh, and it's hard for me to like properly uh, put into words just how how exciting I uh, excited I am for this sort of thing. And already this game is like this game is looking really nice. So enough about me. Let's let's actually talk about what's going on. I hope we get the ability to solve these puzzles because the the giant golem. Uh, Navi 
is cool because he's not talking at me. But also, like, I'm just kind of following him around. I mean, I guess it would be kind of fun to play a puzzle game where I'm not solving the puzzles. I'm just... Uh, a combat game where I'm not solving puzzles. I'm just helping my buddy solve puzzles. But I guess that would be kind of boring, too. Oh, I get it. I have a sprint button. Uh, can I climb the bushes? No, he like he checked out without me. Oh, I got it. We have we have puzzle. Oh, X? No. Maybe I have to be on the side. No. Or maybe. Oh, I can't. I can't even push it yet. Well, that's okay. I'm glad I just f uh, found the sprint button. This makes it, like, ten times easier. I'm surprised they don't even give us any button prompts, but I guess I don't need them. Like, this... Yeah. Okay, a little bit of a load lag. Uh, what's up? Yeesh. I... Huh! Well, then. I... Game crashed on me. First six minutes, that's worrying. They, uh, they did say this is a, uh... This is a kind of, like, prototype copy, and there might be a number of things that get fixed. Jeez, what do we even write? I'm gonna be, uh, explicit about this, because I do like these. <laughs> anyway, uh... I can't write right now. Not really that helpful of information I can submit. I... Okay, there we go. But I might as well submit it, because hopefully nobody else has to worry about that. Okay, let's get this going. Yeah, so luckily, people really haven't missed much. Sadly, we had a crash. Within the first, like, six, seven minutes of the game, that's... That's always... Uh, that's always scary. But I think we'll be okay. Oh, wow, that was seamless. Holy crap. Yeah, that... Go figure. Go figure this, uh... This was such a... Uh, well, this might have been chunking there. It was probably trying to load level assets. Because uh, that is, I think, the quickest entry into a video game I've had. Period. Which is really cool. Let's see if it happens again. What's up, dude? Well, we're not having the lag spikes already, so that's a generally a good sign. The camera gets kind of weird as the character moves around. Yeah, whatever. Hi? <laughs> that is like the most No Man's Sky creature. It's great. Oh, and it keeps going down. That's a tall thing. Ah! No! Never mind. This went bad. Or not. Oh. Right. Well, I guess we just lost the game and our arm. Oh, wait, we're organic. We were... That was bone, and flat. um... Wait, are we gonna have robot arm? We are gonna have robot arm, I saw that on the promo art. <laughs> was not expecting that for the start of the game, but... We really are going to just have his arm as our arm. This is like the weird messed up version of Ori in the Blind Forest. Where we don't grow up with the creature, the creature just kind of grows on us or well, you know what? Let's <laughs> It's smaller, right? Like it shrunk down a little. Ha. Huh.
that has got to be like the most unbalanced thing ever. Imagine if you only only ever lifted weights with one arm. I guess we got to saw that uh, we got to see that in The Simpsons once. Um, but like, <laughs> well, this that was interesting. I was not I was not expecting uh, immediately to just lose my arm here. All right, well, uh, this gives like. This gives us a couple of things we can do. Obviously, shortcut time. Wonder if my arm's still gonna be there. But we're actually we're gonna roll back. There was that bush thing, that like weird seed pod. Oh, hi. Okay, right. I forgot things. Things have gotten. Uh, things are kind of bad back here. Uh, doesn't look like it take falling damage. It just looks like it hurts a bit. Um, we want to find our way back. We've already missed a, quote-unquote, missed a couple of things. Oof. Yeah, it looks like if I'm sprinting too fast, I actually move faster than the game will load. And that's why we have these chunks. And so if I slow down and stop, I bet we don't have to worry about it. Really? Still? All right. Okay, but we have that central thing over there. Can I make it? No. There's got to be a way to get a, get my butt up onto it, but it might be one of those that we want to save that for later. Uh, I might? No, not from here. There's probably an easy way up. You know what? Let's... Oh, hi. Oh, maybe I haven't learned how to punch yet. Yeah, I haven't learned how to punch yet. Alright, never mind then. As an ability, we will we will presumably learn it at a, at a later date. Probably fairly soon, honestly. Okay, but yeah, so it looks like uh, we might have some performance problems when it comes to uh, zipping through zones, at least uh, for a day or two. I'll keep it in mind. Not a big deal. Let's see, where where was he? It was like down... Down here? No, we came up here. Maybe I go over to the left? Because we've got a lot of the, uh, the gross. Everywhere. Oh. Trying to remember, because yeah, if I can't do punch doors or like, interact with most things, I should probably just play, play normally. For at least a little while. And we'll come back for backtracking. I just like, I love backtracking in these games. It's so satisfying to like backtrack and find all the cool collectibles. Uh, but I think, I think there's a little early in the game for that. Hmm. You know what? I might actually turn down the game settings a bit. <laughs> Cause I think we are actually, uh, uh, destroying it. Okay. Oh, right. It's still running crash report. I'm just going to submit another one. I, I think I'm just going to set it down to like high or medium or something because clearly uh, I think I've got it on too high of a setting maybe and it, it's just going to keep crashing. So I, high should be good enough. Save. Start. This is uh not encouraging, but at the same time, whatever. We'll, we'll be okay. At least getting in and out of the game is like the fastest thing ever. And yeah, turning down the graphics does not seem to have uh, impacted it too badly. Yeah, one other thing to note is I've got a Ryzen processor, which is kind of not industry standard at this point. Oh yeah, this is already like 10 times smoother. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's not immediately, um, the ge this game is not immediately optimized for the kind of hardware I'm running with. But that's okay. Yeah, this is this is much smoother. So I think it's just it, running into a new area is the problem. Hi. I feel really bad. We took the thing's arm. What's this? I love the symbolism. Oh, so I get a sword. So I don't punch with the arm. I fight with the sword? Huh. Oh, never mind. Oh, we got part of a sword. 
So there used to be somebody like our main character, but with like more of a cloak. And probably was associated with the, the robot, so I can't destroy walls yet. And it had a sword, but has since died. Oh, do I help? Can I help? I will be your other arm, robot, seeing as you gave me yours. I feel bad. Oh, hey, Patrick. Uh, yeah, I I think... Oh, wait, did we get the rest of the sword? Or is he telling me about the rest of the sword? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we've, we had a couple of crashes, and I think it's because I had it on very high and the game couldn't handle it. Or I couldn't handle it, but... Um, oh, and you've already got the uh, crash... Oh, wait. Oh, these are the upgrade things. Or skins? Oh, we get different skins. Can I just have one where I'm like a black silhouette with creepy blue eyes? <laughs> that actually would be terrifying. But yeah, it looks like the uh, looks like the crashes are already being investigated, which is awesome. Oh, hello. Add sword combo, sword thrust, agility, and mechanical shield. All right, you might have to tell Birdcatcher. Never mind on the escapists for tonight. Okay, so this is maybe we, where we get our upgrades. Or is this just going to be kind of like a workshop that we go to? Oh, we're we're working on the sword. I see. Ooh. But yeah, just turning it down to high from very high. Or was it ultra? I was on whatever the maximum was. Turning it down has already made like a huge difference. I don't know if this really counts as a sword or more so of a club. That is cool though that it uh, that it like goes up and down. And did, we, did we get a health fragment for that, or is it a shield for? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we can swing. Oh, if I if I hit something, we actually get stunned. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna mess me up. I can guarantee it now. Okay. But yeah, so we've got a sword club. Now, do we ever get get to wield a sword left-handed with like the a super sword? That'd be cool. I know at this point, like a lot of games have done this now with the with the robot that loves birds. We've got Calibretto, we've got Bastion, we've got Iron Giant. I really like this trend of like nature robots or robots that love nature-ish. Okay, so we can't get through there. Oh, but I can get through the bushes now. I got it. Okay. Oh, wow. That was nice and fast. I will admit, we've got these rungs here, and as far as I can tell, the character doesn't even actually put his hands on them, but whatever. Uh, yeah, nope, he doesn't. Oh, well. Uh, yep. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, slow down a little bit. If I slow down, we don't have to worry about the crashes as much. I assume... Can I do this? Oh! I can I can sit and have a good time. I was worried for a second that that was going to be like a... Uh, oh, never mind. Not just sitting out and having a good time. There's gremlins about. Uh... Can I... Oh, I can jump. Okay. Bye, bird things. Do we get a bestiary so I know what I can... Ref what are they? What are they? They're like weird frog, lizard, bat birds. Bird? Bird flies? Uh, fro fro oh. Oh, we can fall off. Okay, that is something that... Oh, there's some platforming nonsense I'm going to have to get into. Okay. I uh, should probably... Oh. We probably want to go right here. Yeah. Can I... Nope. Well, maybe I can just do that. No, I can't. There we go. I assume I can climb the grating. Oop. 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 Ah. Yeah, so turning it down has fixed... It hasn't, like, fully fixed the problem, but it did help. Uh... Because we're going to have just a couple of, like, weird spikes here and there. And now we get to see what combat's like. I, lo I love the uh, checkpoint animations. They're neat. Ooh. Okay, so combat... Combat's probably going to get harder as we go along. Oh, I can I can dig through the grasses. Do, do we find rupees in here? 
I'm actually... <laughs> I, I'm actually curious if there's going to be any kind of, like, uh, currency system, or if it's purely going to be, like, secret upgrades to find. Now, are you evil? You look evil. Oh, holy... Ugh. You look like everything and nothing that I want to deal with. Oh, he's got, like, he's got, like, the naked mole rat face, but, like, worse? Because he doesn't have any of the anything else. It's just, like, horrible. It's just horrible. Hey, and there's a currency. Figured, figured one. We'd have one. Uh, now... Ah. Naked mole ape. Well, he wasn't exactly naked, but yeah, mole ape. Let's see. I'll leave that alone for a second. I don't... I don't like going into doors in games. I like to look at everything else and make sure there isn't, like, a secret hiding around the side. This... This looks like one of those games that we're gonna be backtracking so many times. I don't think I'm gonna miss... I'm gonna miss a ton. I, I, I'll back up. I'm gonna be honest here. I'm gonna miss so many things over the course of this playthrough. But that's okay. Now, do we get the ability to warp later? Actually, what kind of menu do we... Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Okay, so we got abilities, which we spend on swords. Yeah, we did already know. We do have one sword, maybe three, plus... Oh, those little bottom things are probably upgrade chips that we put in. That's what we spend the currency on. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much up here. Can I... Oh, hey, we can do jump attacks. Cool. Yeah, they... Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a... Uh... That was a... <laughs> that was a sound. I, note to self, don't die to avoid horror horror noises. We just got kind of flung off into the universe. Okay, uh, let's see what's up here first. Uh, can I change my camera angle? Oh, I see. It's probably a bustable door. We probably get the ability to punch through rocks here. Not through that. One-way trip down. Oh, that's okay. I, I do really like the fact that the uh, descending ladders is, is like, quick and snappy. That feels really good. And... I assume... It wants me to put my hand in here. Don't put in the golem hand. Put in your regular hand. Let's see what happens. Actually, let's not. That's probably a terrible idea. You can fast climb ladders, too, by holding sprint. Oh, that's really helpful. Oh, that's interesting. So there's actually, like, a little plate in there. Can you see it in the model, now that it's been upgraded? Yeah, you can't. Ooh, that is cool looking. Okay, so... How do I... How do I upgrade? Okay, so that's how we break it. Does it come back? It does come back over time. Cool, so I don't have to find arbitrary energy upgrades uh, to get stuff. Now, is there... Is it wise to just fling myself out over here? Probably not. It's probably a terrible idea. I was like, there's probably secrets over there, but at the same time, I am terrified of the... Uh, of the potential... <laughs> Of having to... Well, I guess we wouldn't really have to redo much. I just don't like redoing anything. Uh, no. I don't know why, but I like the ideas of characters with giant arms too big for them like this. I do, too. I I used to... Well, I still play a lot of D&D, &D, but as a kid, my first like D&D &D character I really used had a big old metal, metal arm. I think it was like made out of silver or something for hunting uh, werewolves. Unfortunately, my DM was a jerk, and he's like, Well, uh, it, uh, it weighs a ton, so you move really slowly, and you can't actually use it for combat, because your character, uh, Oh, hey, I can just punch regularly. Cool. A and Y. Oh. <laughs> All that for a ladder. Oh, I like this. Just the... Punch rotation. Oh, do I have to keep... Oh, no, no. I don't have to keep punching. It was a lock of sorts. S sort of. It was a mechanism. We'll go with that. It reminds you of Hellboy. Hell yeah. Hellboy is cool. 
I never really got into the greater Hellboy media, but the movies were always really good. And the visual design, for sure. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can get up here. So if I... Oh yeah, you can sprint up, up ladders. Well, that's helpful. I'm assuming I've missed stuff in here, but I'll come back later. Okay. Nope. Let's stop for a moment. I want to, like, play one of these games someday where, like, the characters are clearly kind of talking to each other, but it's not, like, intelligible words. And I want to get, like, people together to voice act it. Oh! Okay, there's our map. Oh, there's our map. Oh, this is... this is nice. And it looks like, um... It has some things marked, like doors, my location, and... I gotta look for this. What is this thing? I have no idea. Um... How do we how do, how do we pull that up? Nope, that's respawn. Okay, so I can just go go with this. I'm trying to figure out what that that red orange square is. Nope, no idea. Uh, but yeah, I'd lo I'd love to like voice act one of these games with like a group of other people. But when they're talking, it's just like pure gibberish, kind of. Okay, this is maybe something else that I can't interact with immediately. I mean, there's a ladder there, but... Either that or I did it wrong. Maybe I have to be on this side? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, whatever. Come back later. Oh, hi! What's this? Part of a... Oh, no, it's some kind of like... Oh, wait, no, I'm grabbing the fly... Th what?! Huh! I'm a monster, I'm just like... You're coming with me now into my bag. I thought we were going to, like, collect the big anchor-looking thing, not kidnap the bird fly. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, so these I can interact with, but the other one we're going to have to figure it out. Okay. He's just going to have a nice little break while I do all the work. Oh, that's fair. Can we try and power slam the, uh... Yeah, let's try power slamming this. Nope, nothing. Like, what would be a good example... Oh, hi. Do we know what this does yet? Oh, this is a warp point. These, uh, this is fast travel. Okay, yeah, I was wondering about that. Okay, so this gets us back to our workshop. Well, we don't have anything yet. So there's not really a whole lot of reason to... There's not really a whole lot of reason to bother. Okay. Ah. And we can't get through here. Yeah, I'm sure... I'm sure I can probably go back for a couple of things at this point. Oh, it's you! What is he? Oh, he's eating. Okay. I do anything with it? I so I can. Oh, is this like a health upgrade or money? Oh, okay. okay. I sound so sad about money. Money is cool. I just don't care. I don't care about money. I want HP upgrades. Now I don't know. Yeah, I really like this trend of uh, of kind of Metroidvania esque mechanics pulled into other games. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can do anything with that right now. Um, you know, obviously we had Hollow Knight earlier this year, and now we've got this game, and, uh, just kind of these mechanics showing up more and more often. And I'm really down for that, because it's actually really compelling, uh, playing a game that, like, instead of having, like, a, a RPG leveling system, you have, like, set upgrades that you get at certain points, that's not exactly something that's new in the industry, um, but it's something that doesn't show up, didn't show up as often as it, uh, 
as like it is more recently, and I, I really like it because it's... I'm getting tired of games where you have to like specifically grind to progress, and so... Like with this one, for example, maybe we'll have to do that, but it, it feels like just... Ex exploring really does reward you uh, properly, which... oops. Which is neat. Okay, so I can't get in there. Let's keep looking around. I want to more or less fill in as many shortcuts as possible. Though, it looks like the uh, the purple goo is making it hard. And I might almost want to... Oof. Okay, there's a dude down there, but let's go up first. Let's see what we got up first. Oh, more money. Hey, I might actually be able to get an upgrade now, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see, kill the grass. No, the grass has rupees. As far as I can tell, I don't think I can farm for rupees here. I, I think it is going to be from specific caches and nowhere else. Anyway, are you an enemy? Oh, you're an enemy. Oh. Wait, can I punch him? Haha! -ha! Yep. Oh, he seemed to. Oh, okay, enemies do give us money. Okay, I'm glad I've got a dodge roll because I'm apparently near near death. I should probably get away from the grasses where it's, you know, dangerous. Now, here's the question. Ow, dead. I was going to try and swing twice and, like, do a punch. But, in, well, it's nice to know the enemies get feel elated for killing me. Is there a penalty for death? Does it even reset the enemies? Or or can I just throw... I yeah, know. Dead. Holy crap, actually. These guys hurt. Nothing. Okay. I think I might uh, keep playing this for like a little while longer, and then I might give uh, it, you know, 24 hours or whatever for them to fix the crashes and the bugs. Not because we necessarily need to, but I'd, I'd like to show this game off without the like weird like hang up points. Is that, that's more health. Cool. Ah, oh, not you, freaky. Strap rat. Okay. He actually does less damage than spear spear jerk. Okay. Yeah, combat feels pretty good. Now do we Ow, 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 ow. Nope, can't do anything to that. Okay, we'll have to figure out how to burn them later. Oh, I can murder the small little critters. I'm a terrible person and I will never do that again. Because I don't think they deserve that. Unless they're in the grasses and I accidentally mow them over. I've never done that in real life, but I've... Kind of, sort of... Oh, I, I know where I'm supposed to go here. Alright, uh, let's see. So we've got... I like the... What, what, what would you call them? They're not like diodes. But the... The obvious pathways that that connect. I mean, I guess it's kind of a circuit. Yeah, it's a circuit. I I don't know enough about electrical engineering, so uh, electrical or computer engineering. So it's not it's not my forte, and the terms are not something I'm I'm going to be able to like just describe. Are you an enemy, or are you just like a oh? I mean, it's kind of ugly, cute, but that's okay. I assume I can't go up the... No, I can't go up the stumps. But yeah, I, I like how it kind of shows you where things will interact. So you're not just like, what's this switch do? And you have to like find the door it's attached to. It's, it's very obvious. Okay, now those are clearly evil. And probably need to die. And we've got a lot of these like weird pillory looking things all over the place. I'm like afraid to do too much. Cause I know if I if I start running around at full speed, ugh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hi. Another sword part. I wonder. If it gets us a new sword or an upgrade to our pre-existing one. I don't know.
Yeah, so we're 35 minutes in. And I think truly my only complaint is the fact that we are having these, like, these weird chugs. Because I don't think me turning down the graphics options even more is really going to help too much. Which is unfortunate. Because, like... I want to play this smoothly, but I also want to play this. So it's like... I have this problem every once in a while. It's like, here's a problem with with a, a game. I, I have this problem, I guess, with Divinity Original Sin, where I'm, like, having performance problems. So I'm like... Maybe if I just wait, they'll fix it. In this case, I know they're going to fix it. I just have to be patient. Okay, so we've got, like, weird gremlin... Oh! We might have, like, a gremlin summoner. It looks to be, like, a area loading problem more than anything else. Ah! Ah! What is... Ugh! Ugh! Oh, it, it killed its friends! I mean, you just like the friendliest individual in the in the group. I almost wish the punches wouldn't do damage so much as like stun them. Ah, oh shh! Whoa! Okay. Youch. All right. So I think at this point, this is actually a really good stopping point for the episode. <laughs> Getting crushed. Uh, obviously we've still got that, uh, that kind of horrible frame droppy lag business to deal with. But honestly, like, this game is good regardless. This game is fantastic. And it kind of sucks that we're going to have to deal with that. In fact, uh, just as a uh, note for the rest of the series, I've already recorded about the first, I want to say the nine, first nine episodes of this game. Uh, we're going to be dealing with the chugging for at least that long, if not a little bit more. Um... Which is unfortunate. However, I have had the uh, the lead game designer and a programmer, and then uh, somebody else from Runic, all pop in to say that they're making great progress on fixing this bug. So if we're lucky, uh, this will actually be something that gets fixed by release. I hope it does, because like, I I really really hope that it it hasn't like convinced you guys not to buy this game, because this game is fantastic. It's really good. Uh, what you guys are seeing here is kind of just the bare minimum. Once we start getting into the future areas, it gets, like, so much deeper and so much more interesting. This really is, like, a fantastic game and is definitely uh, going to be in my top, you know, five for the year. Uh, <laughs> uh, my top five of the year, uh, once it finally gets the, the bug uh, ironed out. And, I mean, they, they know about it. They're working on it. They've already put out a bunch of bug fixes. And I guess I'm just beta testing this for you guys. So when you guys pick it up, you can have a much smoother experience and a lot more fun. So I guess with this, uh, like I said, I've already recorded the first nine or so episodes. And uh, obviously I'm shooting for a full series. So if you guys like what you see here uh, and you want to see more, uh, like like the video, subscribe. I don't know. I'm kind of throwing myself off the loop here just because it's like... I. I I don't even matter. This game is great, and I just I feel bad that I've been showing off the bad side of it. I just I want to play more, and I can't I can't be patient, so I'm just gonna tough it through, and then hopefully it gets fixed for uh, once things start getting real cool. But I guess for now, I uh, yeah here let's let's do the spiel properly. If you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Hob, like I said, I'm doing a full series on this, uh, rain or shine or. Uh, weird crashy bug thing uh, this game is too good to just pass up because of it uh, so I guess with this I will see you guys in the next episode of Hob and as always thanks for watching